Today we will go over the Powell classification for femoral neck fractures. I know we had previously discussed the Garden classification, however this is another good classification on femoral neck fractures that you should at least be familiar with. The Powell classification is based on the inclination of the femoral neck fracture, looking at the angle between the fracture line of the distal fragment and the horizontal line in order to determine shearing stress and compressive forces during injury. This classification has three types. Type 1 is less than 30 degrees, with this one the compressive forces are dominant. Type 2 is between 30 and 50 degrees, and finally type 3 is greater than 50 degrees and the shearing force becomes more predominant as the inclination increases. With a type 3, you are more likely to have a varus collapse, and as you might expect, this one would be the most unstable and poses the highest risk for non-union and avascular necrosis. And just because you might get pimped on what exactly the horizontal line is, here you can see the femur has both an anatomic and mechanical axis. The horizontal line is orthogonal to the anatomic axis. However, as a side note, there has been a recent modification to this horizontal line that states that it is necessary to adjust for the difference between the anatomic axis and the mechanical axis and gravity line. Thus, the recent modifications state that the horizontal line should be positioned about 9 to 10 degrees inferior to where it is now, as seen here. Nevertheless, the Powell classification is yet another good one to know if you want to be a standout student, and that is really the entire reason I am making these videos, is to help you gain early exposure to topics at the core of orthopedics.